Hey everybody, so uh, welcome to our solar dryer. This is where we dry the cacao. Um, it has a uh, yellow plastic roof, which is a special kind of plastic to intensify the rays of the sun. So it's very hot in here. It's kind of like a sauna. And today the sun is out. So um, yeah, I'm like baking in here, but it's a really great place to dry out the cacao. So this cacao was harvested uh, six days ago. It's been fermented for five days. This is what cacao looks like when it first comes out of the fermentation tank. Okay, and it's it smells great. I mean, it smells like yeasty and kind of like you're baking a big sourdough bread in here. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm just mixing it around a little bit with a piece of bamboo just to kind of like get it to spread out and to aerate it and so that it starts to dry out evenly. Um, but on the first couple of days, when, after you ferment the cacao, you actually don't want it to dry out too quickly um, to get the flavors to really develop on inside the bean. Here it is. It's like covered in this sticky white pulp. Um, you actually kind of want to cure it more than you want to dry it out really quickly. Um, it's like a really technical process. And I'm not, I, I, I know the whole thing, but I'm not going to get into it because it's kind of like people's eyes glaze over when I start explaining it to them. It's like, it's like when somebody tells me they're like a digital front end online manager or something. And I have like, well, what is that anyway? So that's, that's how I think people feel when I start talking to them about technical aspects of cacao, even though I love it. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show this to you. This is what the, the beans look like when they first come out of the fermentation tank. I mean, it's a, it's a long process from the cacao pod to uh, the beans that we sell that are fermented. Fermentation is super important. Um, if you don't ferment the beans and if you don't do it well, they're really, 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 really bitter. I mean, if you think that the cacao nibs that you buy in the store or the whole beans that you buy from us, like, I don't think ours are very bitter at all. People give me a lot of great feedback that they're, they're very well fermented and that they have like a hot, they're not harsh. They have a nice mellow sweetness to them. But definitely, you know, raw cacao is, is not a sweet food. I mean, it's not chocolate, right? It doesn't have sugar added to it. So it's, it's not sweet. Um, but anyway, if it's not fermented properly, you end up with really, really nasty tasting bitter beans. I mean, bitter in a way that it's like not even a good bitter. It's like a bad bitter that you don't want to eat it at all. Um, so the beans need to be fermented and what the fermentation does is the heat that builds up during the fermentation, it helps to break down all those bitter compounds and that are natural in the cacao and they work their way uh, from the inside out. And then the sugars, there are some, there is some, some natural sugar in cacao, very little, but those little bit of natural sugars are allowed to then develop and give the, um, that intense dark chocolate flavor, a little bit more mellowness and less harshness. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this part of the process because I don't think this is a part of a process of making chocolate that a lot of people get to see. So we've got six racks in here. We've got about a hundred pounds of raw cacao uh, in here drying out. That hundred pounds of raw cacao will give me approximately 33 pounds of dried cacao. Yeah, you lose two thirds of the, of the weight when you dry it out. And then of those 33 pounds of dried cacao, I'll get about 25 pounds of nibs because then as the beans are uh, shelled, you lose even more weight in shelling. So it takes a hundred pounds of raw cacao to equal 25 pounds of cocoa nibs. So it's a very, very labor intensive process to get these, uh, cocoa nibs out to you, but I'm, I'm so happy that everybody is enjoying them so much. I, I just read some really nice comments on Facebook and I'm so happy to see those comments. And as you can see, our, our drying area here, it's made of bamboo and the plastic, like I said, but it's all bamboo. And when you come outside, this is where the drying area is. So it's not in a factory. It's not in a warehouse. It's just in the middle of this field. And we have here, we have banana trees. We have some lemon trees. And this is a guava tree. And then over here we have uh, the rest of the cacao field. So as the cacao is fermenting in here, it can pick up the flavor and it can pick up the scents and it can pick up just the essence of 
being out here with bananas and lemons and other cacao. There's also some coffee trees in here and guava. And you've got this like really beautiful, intoxicating green herbal scent that is always in the air here. And that that helps. That helps to give the beans uh, a really good flavor too. So I hope you guys enjoyed your little cacao lesson. See you later.